Okay, let's go ahead and learn how to take the square root of a fraction. This is very important stuff. So here is a lovely little problem. We want to find the square root of 4 over 36, and we do not want to use our calculators. Put those things away. Just use that calculator in between your ears right up there. That supercomputer. This is not AI. This is not artificial intelligence. This is the real stuff. So use that supercomputer to figure this out. And if you know what the answer is, put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer here in just one second. And then we're going to have a quick, very important discussion on the square root of fractions. There's a very specific uh, property, which is a, a property in mathematics is kind of like a law. Okay, you got to follow the laws of math to be successful. But I'll show you that in just one second. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. It really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, let's go take a look at the answer. Again, we don't want to use a calculator. The square root of 4 over 36, what is the correct answer? Well, here it is right here. It is one third. Pretty straightforward stuff. So if you got this right, fantastic. Let's celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. You can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are an expert, a certified expert in taking the square root of fractions. They'll be very impressed indeed. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. And um, as promised, we need to really understand a real important uh, principle or property of square roots. Now, in mathematics, this little symbol right here, uh, you know, of course you'll say, oh, that's a square root symbol, which it is, but you also want to think of this as a radical, okay? So that's just a term uh, for those of you out there that are taking algebra. You're going to uh, run into a chapter called radical expressions, radical equations. So when you uh, hear this word radical, okay, rad. Hi, cool, and hopefully I spelled that right. I am a terrible uh, speller, hence the reason why I do math. But anyways, this is a radical, okay? Now, some of you might say, that's a square root sign. Yes, but call it a radical because I could also have a little three up there, and now we're talking about the cube root of eight, not the square root of eight. So again, you know, these uh, terms and uh, definitions of math isn't uh, important. All right, so we're going to learn uh, one of a few properties, and I'm not going to cover all the properties uh, in this particular video, but just um, a property on finding the square roots of uh, a fraction, okay? And this is the property you need to know. So the square root, one, notice here, the square root here, this radical is covering the entire fraction, okay? So if I want to find the square root of an entire fraction, A over B, a is just the numerator and B is just a denominator. And we're using variables because we're just representing any old numbers here, any numbers uh, that you want it to be. So the whole square root of A over B is equal to the square root of A over the square root of B. Okay, so what we can do is um, take this one big square root and break them into two smaller square roots. Now this property works this way, okay, and it also works this way. Okay, so in other words, if you had an expression like the square root of 3 over the square root of 7, okay, so I can go this direction, just write this as one big square root. Okay, so this is something you absolutely need to know uh, in algebra, and it is going to be, uh, you know, kind of the key to uh, figuring this problem out. Now, there's actually two approaches to figuring this problem out, but I wanted to, uh, you know, really emphasize this property because this is a must-know in mathematics. All right, let's go ahead and actually do the problem now. So here I have the square root of 4 over 36. So we'll use this property, and we'll break up this one big square root into two small square roots. So now I have the square root of 4, which, of course, is 2. Hopefully you know why. Remember, the square root of a number, you're looking for a number times uh, uh, itself to get back to this other number, in this case, 4. And uh, here, uh, just as a little aside, when you're taking the square root of numbers, uh, like in a, this example, just use the positive version of that square root. You don't need to go positive, negative, uh, two, um, 
Uh, that's a, di a separate discussion. If you're interested in that, watch. You can check out some of my other videos on square roots on my YouTube channel. But that's uh, something called the principal square root. So the square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 36 is 6. 6 times 6 is 36. 2 times 2 is 4. So now we are left with this fraction, 2 over 6. Again, we need to simplify all fractions we run into. And we can reduce that down to 1 third, right? 2 goes into 2, 1 and two goes into six, three. So there is the answer, one over three. All right, let's go to take a look at another uh, approach to do this problem. But uh, before we do that, uh, let me ask very quickly, if um, you're getting some sort of value out of my content, I would really be grateful if you consider subscribing. It does really help me out on YouTube. And if you do so, uh, please hit that notification button uh, so you can get my latest content. I'm basically posting math videos from basic math to advanced math every day. But let's move on and take a look at another way we can think about this prompt. So here, I have the square root of 4 over 36. So this is a fraction, and a lot of you are probably saying, hey, can I just simplify, reduce this fraction right off the bat? Absolutely. Let's make our life easier. Matter of fact, that's typically the best approach. Anytime you see a fraction, before you do anything, simplify it. So we'll take this 4 over 36 and reduce it down to 1 over 9. Okay, 4 goes into 4, 1, and 4 goes into 36, 9. So the equivalent problem here, okay, let me just erase all this. If I'm faced with uh, the square root of 4 over 36, uh, I can do, uh, choose to do this problem, the square root of 1 over 9. These are what we call uh, equivalent uh, problems. Okay, they're equal, mathematically equal. So you always want to um, make your life as easy as possible math. So we'll now uh, do this problem, the square root of 1 over 9. Now, the square root of 4 over 36, when we take the square root of 4 and the square root of 36, that's pretty easy. But I'm just showing you another approach. And um, you really need to be thinking in both you know, uh, ways, right? You'll want to simplify your current fraction, and then you can break up one big square root into uh, two small square roots. So we have the square root of 1 over 9 is equal to the square root of 1 over the square root of 9. The square root of 1 is 1, and the square root of 9 is 3. So again, we end up with the same answer. Okay, so uh, this is just a sampling of the things you need to know about radicals and square roots. Uh, you work a lot with radicals and square roots in mathematics, especially algebra. So you need to really understand this stuff. So a uh, couple uh, suggestions. Um, if you need help with algebra, basic math, uh, I'm going to put links to my most popular courses in the description of this video. Also, I have, I think at this time, uh, the post in this video, I probably have uh, well over, no, close to maybe 2,000 videos. And I try to span the whole wide range of math. I just love teaching math. So, you know, geometry, you know, uh, more advanced math, calculus, basic math. So if you kind of scour through my YouTube uh, channel, I'm pretty sure, you know, um, you, you might be looking, you know, find, you know, the topic that you're uh, looking for. If you don't find it there, uh, reference my courses because my courses are fully comprehensive. I cover everything you know, from uh, A to Z. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.